Ultraviolet A, B, C. UVC is the most dangerous type of UV radiation. The ozone layer is supposed to protect us from damaging UV radiation, and UVC is not supposed to reach ground level. However, UVC is being read at ground level a lot lately, and UVA and B are coming in massive amounts more than normal and more than usual. Some areas are even seeing over 13 on UV scale maps. The UV scale goes from 1 through 11, and they even had to add more numbers. And remember that this has an impact on DNA and can damage molecules, kind of like what I talked about a couple of years ago in that big post about the five waves of energy and what it does to the DNA and molecules. It's not even summer yet, and UVC is being read at ground level here where I live in Oklahoma. It will continue to get worse, and you will see it more widespread and in bigger numbers. This could also be the cause of your sudden oncoming heart problems, migraines, and headaches. Along with geomagnetic activity and huge abnormal spikes in the electromagnetic field spectrum frequency of Earth, Earth's heartbeat. On over at HPS.org, they state, Energy UV radiation associated with the UVC category is very strongly absorbed by most organic materials. It is strongly absorbed by organic molecules, including DNA, and leads to severe damage to the molecule and the organism's reproductive process. The UVC radiation is sufficiently energetic that it may produce chemical bond breakage and ionization of some atoms and molecules. The three types of UV radiation are classified according to their wavelength. They differ in their biological activity. The shorter the wavelength, the more harmful the UV radiation. UVC is the shortest. The World Health Organization states, Short wavelength UVC is the most dangerous, damaging type of UV radiation. However, it is completely filtered by the atmosphere and does not reach the Earth's surface. But wait, it is. And more and more in larger areas. So if UVB damages our DNA and molecules and cancer is on the rise from the extreme amounts now reaching Earth, what is UVC doing to us now that this is reaching ground level? In big amounts at that. This is something everyone should be aware of. I will add a couple of links below so you can check out your local UV index and also the scale itself.